Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the top 10 tech gifts you can buy for under $100. And I don't know about you, but I love watching gift guides and I watch them every year and more times than not, I end up buying things for myself. So regardless of if you're watching this video to find cool things to buy for yourself or for somebody else, this should hopefully give you some ideas of some great gifts to buy, really cool tech things that I've reviewed on this channel. And like I said, I love watching so many other gift guides that I thought this year I would make a gift guide of my own for things that I've reviewed, I use every day, and I absolutely love. But while it's really easy as a tech reviewer to just point out like the coolest things out there, like yeah, the Pixel 6 Pro is great, but I understand that's not always in the budget of a gift. So instead, I wanted to draw the line somewhere and I said, why don't we look at gifts that are under $100? So not everything on this list is $99. There's plenty on this list that are $25, $30, like the whole spectrum, the whole gamut there. So we're gonna talk about a lot of different gifts in different prices, but starting off in, in really in no particular order, the first thing I wanna talk about is going to be a wearable. And the one that I would recommend in this price range right now is the Fitbit Inspire 2. This is something that I've used in the past. I've actually had, well, I'll tell you a story in just a second, but this is a nice little wearable that tracks your fitness. And the reason I really recommend it generically for tech lovers or non-tech lovers is because it gives you the Fitbit app, which is very user-friendly, very easy to interpret stuff. It gives you positive feedback and really incentivizes you to be more active, track your health and overall just improve in general. And the story I was gonna tell is from March 2020 to March 2021, like obviously a lot of lockdowns, all kinds of craziness going on. A lot of people were being very inactive, but my cousin, props to him, ended up buying this wearable off of me, the Fitbit Inspire 2. I should have given it to him, but I sold it to him. And he wore it every single day. And granted, like, not everything's the credit of this watch. A lot of it, like most of it was him, but but still being able to track his workouts and incentivize things, he ended up losing over a hundred pounds in that year. Now, he's since graduated to a much more advanced watch and he's, he's running marathons for fun, just like casually all the time. But otherwise, basically, this is a really great wearable. I highly recommend it. The only drawback, of course, is that it's a little bit hard to see in very bright daylight, but regardless, if you wanna learn more, check out my full review of that. Now, moving on to number two, this is a really cool one. Very, very interesting. Uh, this is actually a water bottle. And before you're like, whoa, Mike, you said this was tech. Like, that's a water bottle. That's not, that's not tech. Uh, it, it is. It's really cool. So this water bottle, if you look at the cap right here, actually has a little UV light. So there's a battery up here, a UV light. And before you write this off, like, hear me out. I love this. I use it all the time. This is called the Lark bottle. And there's three main reasons that I would use this bottle. So one of them, embarrassingly, is that I like forget my water bottle all over the place. Like I'll leave it in my car, I'll leave it in my office for like a couple days at a time. And if you leave a regular bottle there for a couple days, it will end up smelling kind of gross. Like it gets a little moldy or something on the inside. It's not good. But this, the UV light on the inside will activate either once every hour or every three hours. And it goes on for about a minute. And that'll make sure it disinfects everything on the inside so that if you leave this bottle sitting somewhere for a week, for two weeks, you can come back and I mean, you could even really drink the water. It's completely clean. So that's one reason. The second reason is for people who are maybe a little bit more prepared, if you travel internationally. So if you live in the United States and you go down to say the Dominican, their water regulations are very different. And so a lot of people end up buying bottled water. If you drink tap water, you might get sick. And that's where this comes in. Again, if you press it once, it purifies it for 60 seconds. If you double press it, it does a more thorough three minute clean. The third thing, I love to do a lot of trail biking and backpacking. So when you're like out in the woods, uh, you might be able to relate to this when you're out there and you see like a really nice cold stream, like you just wanna drink it. But if you drink it, you get you could get Giardia and then that's obviously a big problem. So again, with this, you scoop it up, you can you know clean it with three minutes and then you can drink that. So the Lark bottle is not only a really cool bottle that has like great insulation, but with that UV light on top, like I think this is just such a cool gift that again, for any outdoor enthusiast or just for anybody that's lazy and, and forgets their bottle places, this is an awesome buy. Moving on to number three, this one is for anybody that has a Philips Hue bulb or any Hue bulbs in their house. You might know that like the Hue bulb, if you screw it in somewhere and you have a light switch, then you have two options. You can either always control it with a smart speaker or with your phone, or you can only control it from the wall. So like if you turn it off at the wall and you tell a smart speaker to turn it on, like there's no power to the bulb, so it, it doesn't work. Now, this was a problem with Hue bulbs for a while until Lutron came out with a new product called the Aurora. And essentially what this does is it clamps onto your light switch, really awesome idea, and 
it will hold your light switch on and then you can push the button and digitally turn the light bulb on and off. So this way, smart speakers always work. Anybody who doesn't have the app can walk into the room and intuitively use it as a rotary dial. They can dim it, they can press the button, turn it on and off. And like, this is a product that I thought was absolutely amazing. But full disclaimer and a little story about myself that I haven't actually told on my channel before, I wasn't always a tech reviewer. I used to be a mechanical engineer at Lutron and we made all types of dimmers and, and new products. And, and I'm not allowed to tell you exactly what I worked on, but I could say that I worked alongside a lot of the great engineers there that designed products like the Aurora. And I mean, it's, it's a great product and I have absolute confidence in the design team. It's a great buy. And on top of that, it's actually not that expensive. It's only $39 and allows you to control like multiple hue bulbs at once. You can control like four and they could be on lamps, they could be on a, anywhere you want. It's really a cool thing that you can get. And tied into that, the second thing, or really this is number four on the list, if you don't have hue bulbs, but you still wanna have some type of dimming experience, another Lutron product here that I think is another great gift. And, and this is one that I genuinely do give to people all the time, it's a great gift. This is the Caseta kit. And there's two ways you can do this. You can have one that literally replaces your light switch on the wall. It's a little bit more complicated. If you're into that, definitely worth it. But the easier way to do this is to get the wall plug. And so I use this like in my bedroom, for example, you can plug it into the wall and plug two lamps into there. And then those lamps, you can dim them on and off. You can set timers for them. So every evening I walk into my bedroom and it like the lights are just on at a dim level. It's very welcoming. It's a lot nicer. And similarly in the morning, you can have it automatically dim up whenever your alarm goes off. Now I know this video is all about gifts that are under hundred dollars, but if you have a higher budget for that special someone, or if you're just looking for something yourself, then the LG Gram is a clear recommendation. This video is sponsored by LG. So special thanks to them for sending over the LG Gram. This laptop is pretty amazing. As you can see right there, it's a 16 inch laptop that is not only lighter than most other laptops, but also a lot thinner than other laptops. This comes in at under three pounds and yet it's packing some incredibly impressive specs, including a full 16 inch touchscreen with razor thin bezels, the 11th gen Intel i7 processor. It comes with one terabyte of solid state storage on there, which again, keeps it very light while also being a very powerful device. And on top of that, it folds back into a two in one. In the box, you get a pen. So this works not only as a massive tablet that's easy to draw on and do any kind of artwork or note taking, but it also folds into a full laptop like this. And, and it's really functional in all regards. It has backlit keys on here, has a fingerprint reader. It has a, a little number pad on the right side, a full size keyboard, a large track, pad, Thunderbolt 4 port, like this really checks a lot of boxes. Again, special thanks to LG for sending it over. I'll have a link to this in the top of the description and in a pinned comment. So check that out if you wanna buy yourself a laptop or a laptop for a special someone. Moving on to number five. This one gets back to some more classic tech, not smart home, not water bottle, but rather an accessory for an iPhone. And if you have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13, you'll probably know that it has MagSafe on the back. Well, I shouldn't say probably know. More people than not, I'm surprised, have no idea that MagSafe exists on here. So essentially, quick summary, MagSafe is like magnets on the back of your phone, where you can you know, stick things on there and wirelessly charge your phone at the same time. And so the big thing, my opinion, the coolest accessory that came out of this was the car charger. So ESR came out with one, and I'll put a link in the description for actually for all these products, but the ESR car charger is like something that I absolutely need. In all of my, like in my car, I have it. If I rent a car, I have it. I only have one car, but if I rent a car, I have it, like I bring it everywhere I go because when you get in the car, you just like slap this on the dashboard, it snaps in magnetically, it's held there, it's charging, you don't have to plug anything in, like it's amazing. I love having that. All right, on to number six, this one, I'm sure you can guess. Anyone who's watched my channel or if you just see what I'm holding right now, this is the Galaxy Buds Plus, a pair of earbuds that I've recommended to so many people in so many different videos. Still a longtime favorite on this channel for incredible comfort, great battery life with 11 hours in the earbuds. Like these are just really a solid package. And even though they've been around for like a year and a half right now, or maybe almost two years, then I mean, the price is only going down, but the product is still really amazing. And so I highly recommend these. I actually talked about them more in my full video recently about the top earbuds under hundred dollars. So if these aren't your speed and you want something else, you can, you can check that video out. But, but I think a really clear pick right here, the Galaxy Buds Plus are great for anybody who again is into working out or casual listening or anybody that you know that just has wires on their earbuds, like this is a great pair of earbuds. Oh, and as a side note, it might be tempting to look at the Galaxy Buds Live and say, oh, well, these are $99 as well and they're newer and they have ANC and, and you might be tempted to buy those. But I would generally discourage that and I would say that 
almost everybody I've talked to, and myself included, really uh, by far prefer the Galaxy Buds Plus over the newer Galaxy Buds Live. Like, just don't get the Live. Maybe get the Galaxy Buds 2 or the Galaxy Buds Plus if you can find a sale on those. But again, I'll link the $99 Galaxy Buds Plus in the description below. Number seven, this is a simpler one that definitely hits home for me. I lose my keys all the time, or I used to lose my keys all the time, until just this past year, I started buying things like the Smart Tag if you have a Samsung phone, or the Air Tags if you have an iPhone, both of which are either $25 or $30, and you can buy, you know, value packs where it's like four for $99, and you can put them on all types of things. Again, I made full videos on these, super self-explanatory, you put it on your keys, if you lose your keys, you find it with your phone, and it'll beep, or you can even like use an AR camera and like find it really great. For anybody that loses stuff, like this is a must have. Number eight is the fourth generation Amazon Echo. I absolutely love this speaker. I use it all the time. It's very loud, it has great sound, and it can hear me from surprisingly far away. But of course, if you don't wanna spend the full $99, you can find the cheaper ones, like the little Echo Dots right here. I highly recommend like the round ones, that are the round ones. They're newer, they sound better, and overall, like I think they do a much better job. And so in general, the Amazon Echo is just like, it's a great product, I like buying, I like having it, and it's a great gift for anybody who could use it maybe in their kitchen when they're like setting timers or asking for recipes. You could ask about the weather. I have like a morning podcast I play every morning when I'm, when I'm making breakfast, like just five, 10 minutes, catches me up on the news. Like things like that, smart speakers can be super, super helpful. And now that they're so affordable, like it's just really a great buy. Number nine ties into the smart home idea, and this is the new Roku. So the new Roku Stick 4K just came out very, very very recently and it's already on sale. So according to their website, it used to be $50. They already dropped it down to $29. So if you are looking to convert any old TV or projector or anything like that into a smart TV, then this is a great buy. And the reason I recommend Roku over a lot of other ones, like don't get me wrong, I love the Chromecast, I love Apple TV, but if you're just gonna generally get it for a gift for somebody else, like. I don't know what platform they like to watch movies and TV on, so Roku is generally more brand agnostic, and they're more likely to work with more different services out there. So they're just really easy to use. And now, last but not least, this is a really cool one, possibly for your bedroom or really anywhere else. This is the SwitchBot Curtain Robot. It's something that most people don't even know exists, but I think is really a cool design where essentially you can take any regular curtains that slide back and forth and turn them into essentially a smart, automated curtain using this little robot right here. So rather than getting some kind of crazy big like pulley system or anything that's motorized like that, you can just get this little motorized robot that hangs on a curtain rod and there's different ways. It can actually mount inside like, depending on what your, what your curtains look like, there's different designs, but this one right here goes on top of a curtain rod. It's $99 and you can automate it. It'll connect to any smart home stuff like Google Home or, or the uh, Amazon Echo as you see right here. And this will allow you to essentially set timers and open and close your curtains different time. So when you're away from home, if you want your curtains to open and close for like plants or something like that, or when you are home, like I have it close my curtains every night. And so I walk in again to my bedroom and the lights are on and the curtains are closed. So it's just nice and private and, and a little bit more welcoming. And similarly in the morning, if you want to wake up to natural light, you can have it open your curtains at sunrise or at a specific time. But full disclaimer, again, this is a little bit noisier, so if you use it to wake up in the morning, just do expect that you're probably waking up from the sound and not from the daylight. But that's it. Those are my 10 picks for the best tech gifts you can buy for under $100, except maybe I told you more like, like 12, I don't know. But if you have any other ones, leave a comment down below. Like I said, I love gift guides, so if you guys have any recommendations, I would love to read through them, and who knows, maybe I'll make another video just like this one. If you enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Michael Bryan, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.